Hi everyone, this is Kim with Abundant Life Tarot and we are doing our February Happy Valentine's Day love readings for both couples and singles, astrological signs, all 12. So I am excited to just dive right on in and do this reading for you here. So let's get started. Hello Sagittarians. This is your February love reading for couples and singles. Excuse me. We're looking at the overall energies in love for Sagittarians for the month of February. What are we working with, Spirit? So we have, okay, we have inner light, and we have wounded. And so for February, uh, this card would indicate to me that some of you will be having moments where your inner light is shining through. And it is, um, for the single people, it's bringing others to you. It's drawing others to you. For a couple up, your inner light is shining through and it will help you connect with your partner. And it will also help you to illuminate areas in your life where there are wounds that still need to be dealt with and healed uh, for both single and couple. Um, I get a sense that there is a person in the relationship, whether it's you, Sagittarius, or whether it's your partner, um, or whether this is someone watching this for a Sagittarian. There are wounds that will be illuminated once you start to shine your light in other areas. You'll, the wounds will start to become glaring because other areas in your life are improving whereas there's some parts in your heart maybe there's past breakups that were really raw and wrong towards you um, or perhaps you were abused or perhaps there were past um, familial family wounds that ne needed to be dealt with so for the month of february there will be some yin and yang kind of uh, things going on with you sagittarius where on one hand, things are looking brighter in other areas of your life and, and in your areas of love life too. But there, because of that, it's going to illuminate where there are still some pain points in your heart and in your life. So um, that will be the overall general energies you'll be working with um, in February. Okay. So we are looking at the Sagittarians February love energies for the couple then the single. What are we going to be dealing with? Oh, it's too many. What are we going to be facing? And what advice and guidance do you have for Sagittarians? Coupled and single. Okay, these both jumped. Okay, and interestingly enough, if it almost coincides here with these two cards, and I'll tell you why. You have the full card here, right? And the full card is about, look, if you look here, there's the sun. It's about um, taking a journey, going on a new path, saying, you know what? I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to experience something new. Yeah, there are risks. Yeah, there may be challenges ahead, but I'm going to deal with it. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. You're, many of the Sagittarians out there are going to be 
dealing with that. That's a beautiful thing to have in February for love. Have the full card. That means you're about to take chances. Sagittarians who are maybe starting a date again is taking a chance on love, putting themselves out there. But when you put yourself out there, right, it can expose some wounds that you are dealing with with dating, right? When you take that next step, or maybe for those who are taking the next step in a relationship, right? Uh, maybe you guys are going, you're going to be committed to one another. You're going to be monogamous. You're going to move in together. You're going to do something new. Well, that could be good, but it could bring up some feelings from the past that have been there have been wounds and so this card and this card is inviting you to say okay yeah i got some stuff to deal with around this issue and it's going to come up in arguments with your partner or arguments with people you may date and arguments with loved ones so it's something you are going to have to deal with and you would want to because what it has to deal with what your wounds are likely having to deal with here it's the five of pinnacles and it's a snowy snowy day or night actually and these folks are walking ahead and these people are by the fire and you know this is the pentacles that still you know yeah, i guess you could say with actual relationships or with finances or with um you know the physical body or the, the what is going on in the here and now on this physical plane and here we have someone by the fire and someone feeling left out not able to join in your wounds are dealing with with be feeling abandoned feeling left out feeling not loved and it could affect your current and future relationships so it does need to be dealt with because this is yes you know, this may be for some people an actual occurrence for Sagittarians for the month of February where you're actually experiencing this feeling and is its current wounds happening. But I get a sense for many Sagittarians, this is dealing with past wounds that are coming to the forefront because you, you are shining your light bright. You are taking chances in other areas of your life and including love. So things are coming up. For a small segment of the Sagittarian population, I would say yes. This could be a current wound that's happening in a relationship. And then you have to ask yourself, is this all my stuff that's going on? Why I feel left out and like not able to join in with this person or with these people or with my partner? Or am I really being excluded and not included in a loving way? And whatever it is, you take an action step towards that. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so now we have to ask what outside or inside factors or influences are affecting Sagittarian's love life for February, both for coupled and single. Hmm. That's amazing. Okay. First one, memories. Like I said, I get a sense that for Sagittarians, the wounds that are happening are past. They're in the past. But there are a small segment of the population where the wounds are currently happening. But these memories are coming up. They're being stirred up in February. Maybe Valentine's Day is a trigger for you, some Sagittarians out there. Maybe it's a trigger. Maybe that's why it's like causing you to have some issues. Maybe your partner isn't living up to the way you're hoping that they're going to live up to Valentine's Day or maybe your anniversary or whatever the case may be. You have these like um, mile posts, if you will, for your relationship and you're just not pleased with it. And so th this triggers a, like a memory and then you start to think about it and it starts to bother you and you start to feel unloved. So it's a, a it 
will be a continuous pattern in future relationships if you do not deal with it now. So, and then you have spiritual growth. And from this, during this month, you will have some spiritual growth, some enlightenment over the whole issue. Okay? You will start to see things differently, feel differently about your love life, feel differently about your partner if you're in a relationship, and you will um, be more spiritually connected to God or to your source, and and for and that's going to deepen your relationships. We'll just take a quick look at the guidebook that comes with this oracle deck. Memories, because sometimes they have some advice that's very helpful. If you're grieving the loss of a loved one, feeling glad for the time that you did spend together is especially helpful. Your guidance includes honoring these memories through a photo album or scrapbook, through a memorial contribution or celebration, or by writing your memoirs in an autobiographical book or article. If you experience recurring challenging flashbacks, it may be time for you to work with a counselor who's specially trained in trauma therapy. This professional can help you shed the shadow of the past in a way that's healthy and promotes growth. Additional meanings. Contacting someone from your past. Creating a tribute to a past over loved one. Taking care of your mind through meditation and brain stimulating work. Improving your focus and concentration through detox detoxing and good nutrition. So that's some advice for you with regards to dealing with those wounds. And then let's look at spiritual growth. Just going to read an excerpt. This card signifies that the change you're currently in the midst of or contemplating is part of your spiritual growth. It will bring about great blessings, even if challenges present themselves along the way. As this experience comes to a conclusion, you'll know that you are very strong indeed. In fact, the situation will push you to leave behind your comfort zone. You'll reach deep inside to a reservoir of strength that you didn't know you had. This strength is both peaceful and powerful, and it helps you learn new life lessons, as well as let go of old pain and forgive your past. Spiritual, so additional meanings are spiritual seeking, a change of religion or new spiritual path, being true to yourself, a legal issue or a health challenge. And that's for sure. Health challenges for sure can cause you to have a new spiritual awakening or reawakening. And that could actually be a physical wound that some of you may be dealing with and recovering from. And as a result, you're coming on the other side of the illness or the wound or the accident or the broken bones or what have you. And you're enlightened for it. And your partner, if you're in a relationship, supports you through this. Allow them to lean on them. Part of the lesson, part of the spiritual growth is learning how to lean on others when you are not emotionally strong enough to, to really carry all the weight yourself. So you have to sometimes kind of humble yourself and, and surrender. And this is not a bad reading in the least. It's actually quite beautiful what's transpiring in the month of February for you. All right, let's look at Sagittarius's um, sexual and sensual energies for the month of February in the love arena. Okay. All right. So we have some pentacles going on. A lot of pentacles energies. So we have the eight of pentacles. And we have the ten of pentacles. And there's a progression, if you will. I'll zoom in for a moment on the and scoot it back. So we have 
the eight of pentacles and in the sexual sensual arena there's definitely going to be um, connections with your partner where you are putting in the work to make your partner feel loved and, and sexy and desired and you know I get the sense that with the Ten of Pentacles next to it, and you even show like, content, like a content family life. I get a sense that, um, in turn, your partner is loving this and then returning it back to you. So, even though even if you're dealing with wounds, I don't get a sense that it's really hampering your sex life or your intimacy. Um, even if you're not in a relationship, I don't get a sense that you're so torn up about your past hurts that you're not able to, you know, have chemistry with someone or sexually um, desire someone or be sexually desired. So, you know, this is a time, if, you know, for February for many Sagittarians to have a beautiful uh grounded love affair um, with their partner or with their lover in the month of February and it just it's really it's reciprocal it's like what you're putting out there is coming back to you tenfold Sagittarians keep doing that because keep being that giving partner because your partner is eating it up and then wanting to give you as much if not more and then if you're single then this is just putting out in the universe that good karma. You are being flirtatious, but responsibly flirtatious. And you know what I mean by that? You don't just, you know, haphazardly flirt with every um, Tom, Dick, and Harry or every Sue, Tina, and Laura. You, you know, are selective about it, responsible about it, and in turn, the right folks co are coming your way or, or coming into your stratosphere that you're attracted to and, you're, and they're attracted to you. And it's finally really a proper match um, in terms of chemistry and connection. For, and so those will be the people that are coming to your midst if you're single. So it's quite an interesting time for Sagittarians. All right, let's see what romantic love advice we can give to Sagittarians, singled or coupled. Mm -hmm. We'll go with three this time. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Calling in your soul, soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. All right, so... Romantic feelings, calling your soulmate, past life relationship. Well, I think that's where the wounds lie. But this is telling me the confirmation that you are in a good place in terms of relationships and, po and poising yourself, getting yourself ready for the relationship, your soulmate relationship um, that's coming to you if you are single. Let us look at the guidebook and just look at excerpts let's see romantic feelings this card comes to you as guidance to follow the pathway of those romantic feelings perhaps you've met someone who made your heart leap and you wondered whether to pursue him or her well this card says that the answer is yes Take action by flirting, asking the person out on a date, or making your feelings known. If you've recently been longing for more romance in your life, this card is a signal to take charge of making things that happen. 
You can quote unquote romance yourself by, for example, treating yourself to a luxurious massage or pedicure, buying yourself presents, or watching a romantic movie. You can also actively pursue and attract romance. First, affirm that it is already inside of you. A partner definitely brings these feelings to the surface. However, they were within you as a potential initially. The more you affirm, I am romantically loved, the more you attract this condition within yourself and through a relationship. In some cases, you will receive this card as a signal that you are ready for a new relationship. It then guides you to take action, such as being aware of people you meet who may be potential partners, as well as frequently frequenting places where such potential partners may, may be. These would be locations or events associated with your hobbies and interests. Okay. Calling in your soulmate. You, like everyone, have soulmates. And let's see. This card guides you to actively call your romantic soulmate into your life. You can do that so through prayer, affirmations, and visualizations. It also means working on yourself so that you epitomize the qualities you're seeking in a partner. That's what I was saying. You've got to, you know, you. I always tell that to people. You have to be what it is that you want your partner to be. So if you want more loving affection, you have to exhibit that so your partner can mimic or or reciprocate that let's see it says you can do so through prayer affirmations and visualizations it also means working on yourself so that you epitomize the qualities you're seeking in a partner for instance if you desire a significant other who's got a great sense of humor develop this within yourself like attracts light which is part of calling in your soulmate and then past life relationship you have some unfinished business in conjunction with a soulmate from a past lifetime this may involve forgiving someone a joint project or learning personal lessons such as patience soulmates recognize each other instantly and this feeling is often registered as a sense of romantic or sexual chemistry the magnetism that draws two people together can surpass logic because the purpose of the relationship is healing and learning. Hmm. Whether or not your soulmate becomes your life partner, you'll experience personal and spiritual lessons and growth as a result. Past life regressions can also help you uncover the answers you seek. Wow. This speaks to that here. It's all tied together. Watch this. Um, reading a couple of times Sagittarians because all the cards are speaking to one another. Um, it's quite beautiful actually. Okay, so let's look at Sagittarians um, healing advice. Where, where can there be healing for Sagittarians in love and how can they heal? What can they do? What additional steps can they take? Hmm. Pride. Let's take a look at that. Wow. Where in your relationship is there pockets of pride? Whether it's in you or in your partner. Maybe it's you not showing your vulnerable side. For whatever reason, you're being protective. It's a wound here. But you're going to have to let that go. I would presume. For pride. This number seven. You may be acting out of arrogance and vanity. Humility is the key. Humble yourself. I feel like I said that earlier, so you have to humble yourself. When you are prideful, you can become harsh and not conscious of your weaknesses. This can temporarily make you feel more powerful and superior to others, whilst at the same time cause you to be judgmental, unteachable, and hardened. 
Have you been fighting, quarreling, and disagreeing with others? Are you always trying to prove a point and defend your position? Do you think that you are always right? By holding on to shadow pride, you are stopping yourself from progressing mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Stop overestimating your importance and learn to be humble. When you are too proud, you cannot hear other people's advice and cannot receive their assistance. Empowerment means that you can be soft, caring, aware, and gentle. Recognize that you need other people's support to achieve true success. So it's gonna you're gonna learn that this month in February that you're gonna have to lean on others, your partner if you're in a relationship, or others, family members. And hopefully it's not a tough lesson that comes with it. Hopefully it's something that you willingly end up doing. But sometimes the universe has a way of making that shift more forcefully for you. All right. Well, let's look at some final loving words from spirit to Sagittarians out there. Goodness, this is a big theme for February for a lot of signs. It's the freedom card which I love. Let's see. Okay, so we have freedom. Appreciation. Invitation. And imagine. In February... There's going to be a great sense of freedom for you, Sagittarians. You're going to have freedom in your heart, in your, um, just in your way of moving and being. And your inner light is definitely shining through in February. And it's calling to um, potential partners. It's calling to your partner if you're in a relationship. It's calling to the universe. And it's... Your inner light is shiny and causing others to want to shine their inner light. So that's a beautiful thing. Keep doing that because in turn, you are in appreciation of life and gratitude and people are in appreciation of you. Your partner is in appreciation of you. They want to return to you all the love and gifts that you've bestowed on them back to you as we saw um, in these cards over here. So allow them to do that. Appreciate them. Don't be too prideful. Humble yourself. Receive that support in those gifts. You're invited to by spirit to um, surrender to the magic of life. You know, not everything can be controlled or planned or forced into. Just kind of go with the flow. Surrender to um, what may come and just Again, go with the flow with your love life. Relax this month. I know it may be challenging, but you're invited to do that. You're, and then finally, your imagination. Imagine. Imagine, focus on your kind of love that you wish to have, whether you're in a relationship or not. Write down the qualities of the relationship or the partner that you wish to have, and then Frequently refer back to it and look at that list and imagine who it is. Feel what it would feel like to be with your partner if they exhibited those qualities. And in turn, the universe will start to create that, manifest that. You will be in a place of receiving it. You'll be able to invite that person in if they are not yet in your life. And you'll be able to not only be more clear about what you need from your partner. But hopefully when you're creating that list, you're also looking and checking to see if those are qualities you're exhibiting in yourself. That's just as important, right? If you want something from a partner, then you need to also be able to exhibit it in yourself. Okay. So anyway, Sagittarians, it's been a pleasure. It's been such a pleasure doing this reading for you. I thank you so much for watching. I wish you, wish you much, much love um, in February and beyond. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.
Bye.